Hey y'all, it is that time of year, uh, fall. I love it. I love the cooler temperatures. It was actually cool enough for Sweet Hunter to make me a fire this morning. And anybody that knows me knows I love a fire. Um, so, uh, a wood fire. Uh, so today we're making Brunswick stew. This is a simple, easy, easy recipe. Great for a crowd. You can double it, triple it, you can freeze it. Um, and it's all made uh, uh, just from what you have in your kitchen. So uh, let's get to cooking and uh, get it ready for my kids as they come by the house. So the first thing I'm gonna do is give you the ingredients. So, uh, you need two cans of cream style corn. The recipe does call for white, but you know me, I use what I have, and this is what I have. But cream corn. Uh, the recipe also calls for two cans of stewed tomatoes. Now, I didn't have stewed tomatoes, but I had diced tomatoes in a can. So, I just got through making you a video on how I make my stewed tomatoes. Uh, tomatoes. So make sure and go back and watch that. It's called stewed tomatoes. Uh, but that's two cans of stewed tomatoes and you can buy them stewed. I just didn't have them. Um, this is the only thing you might not have in your house and it's called chili sauce and it's, uh, uh, it's like a dollar at Walmart. And I try to keep four or five of these because I do make Brunswick stew a lot. Um, you'll use this whole bottle. All right, and then we're gonna use, see how easy this is? We're gonna use two cans of the white uh, chunk chicken breast. And you can also get these at Costco, Walmart, anywhere. And I keep these on hand too. Uh, they're great to have. You can make a chicken casserole just with these. Uh, then we're gonna, uh, we, we're gonna use a pound of ground beef. In my case, I'm using ground deer because that's what I have. You can also use ground turkey. You're gonna use two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Two tablespoons. And you're gonna use two tablespoons of lemon juice. If you don't have lemon juice and you have a lemon, squeeze it. And then you're gonna use just some Tabasco. Uh, this is our favorite hot sauce here. Uh, and you're gonna mix it all together. My ground deer is uh, simmering on the stove now, so I'll show you what to do next. Okay, y'all, all we're gonna do is we are gonna dump these ingredients in with the ground beef, ground deer. In my case, it's ground deer. If you use ground beef or ground turkey, you may have to drain it. Ground deer does not have a lot of fat, so I didn't have to. So that's two cans of the white chunk chicken breast in the can. I am gonna add two cans of the cream of cream corn, cream stock corn. And the recipe does suggest white and I just didn't have it. Um, Just gonna dump all this in. Now I'm doing it in a Dutch oven, but uh, when I make this, my kids like to come by and get some. Um, so I am um, gonna put it in the crock pot where it'll have it'll be warm. Uh, now this is my stewed tomatoes that I told you that I just did a video on. I did not have the actual stew, canned stewed tomatoes, so I made my own out of diced tomatoes from a can. So this is two cans of stewed tomatoes. Whoops. So I dropped the lid. Glad it didn't go in there. So now we're gonna add the chili sauce. We're gonna add the whole bottle. Now I do not like to waste anything, so I'm gonna get a little bit of water and put in this bottle. 
just like a tablespoon of water and I'm gonna shake it up. I just don't like to waste anything. Now I'm gonna stir this up on the hot pad here. I'm gonna stir this all up. It's already looking yummy, isn't it? This is such an easy meal to fix. Um, and you can put it in the crock pot, you can simmer it, you can make it on the stove, you can simmer it on the stove. Uh, I'm putting it in the crock pot just because um, I want to get it off the stove because I've got some other things to make. So now we're going to add two, I believe it's two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. Yes. You can double, triple this recipe. I do that a lot and put it in the freezer. We are gonna add two tablespoons of lemon juice. We are gonna add a dash of Tabasco or any hot sauce that you like. And that may look like a little bit more than a dash to you, but we like it a little spicy. So you do that, you do you, you do it what you like. And then I add salt and pepper. Mix it all up real good again. And just let it simmer on the stove, put it in the crock pot. It's really, it's all done. It's just, you just got to meld all those uh, flavors in together. So you do wanna cook it for a little while. In the crock pot, at least three hours. On the stove, it probably wouldn't take that long at all. It's delicious, y'all. It is easy and delicious. I got this recipe out of an old church uh, cookbook. Uh, it was actually their retirement center's uh, members and I can't remember who put the recipe in. I'll have to find that. Uh, but it's a very old, easy recipe, Brunswick stew. Uh, I love it, my family loves it. And it's simple, simple to make. Uh, all the links uh, to my blogs, my Instagram, my Facebook, they're in the description. Y'all subscribe if you haven't, thumbs up. Uh, like, I'd love a comment, um, and uh, y'all go cook something. <laughs>